we're now on the blouse. I'm expecting a few issues. I have, well, I have most of the blouse fabric, um, but it arrived in two pieces. So a piece of white and a piece of ivory. And I don't think there's enough to be able to do it on each piece. So we're gonna, we're gonna see what happens, okay? Um, there's probably gonna be a little bit of improvisation, but I, I hope it'll come out pretty close. Um, anyway, woo! So I've laid out one of my blouses onto the pieces of paper, and I'm gonna just trace around the main body of it, because it fits really well, and I think I can alter the neckline to kind of be sort of true-ish to the, um, the film. You know, I wasn't gonna make a mock-up, but looking at it, I kind of, I feel like I should, you know? Um, I don't know whether the front's at the right height, which is why it has so many little, like, markings on it, like there. But, yeah, no, I'm gonna make a mock-up. I don't have enough fabric to do this. Right, so you know when I said that I probably wouldn't have enough fabric for this? I, I do. I have enough fabric for this. Um, I did a mock-up and that worked fine and I managed to get the cut right on it. So I've, I've altered that ever so slightly but the rest of it is pretty similar to how it was before. And I mean this, right? Like, I have, I have so much fabric. I, I didn't think I would but apparently I do. So I'm gonna, yeah, cut out the pieces and then sew them together. So the next and most difficult part was the sleeves and the smocking. I t intended to do the smocking the way that they'd done it and doing it by hand um, and then embroidering over the top of it is in traditional smocking. I figured out about halfway through trying to do that that it just wouldn't work because I hadn't cut the sleeves wide enough um so it would have been too tight around the wrists and the smocking wouldn't have looked good I ended up just machine smocking them as you will see in the pictures um but actually when I embroidered over the top of the machine smocking it looked pretty good and it looked pretty much like the original so technically I didn't do it right but it looks pretty pretty close and I'd say that's kind of good enough. <laughs> so the last main step really was just sewing all of the pieces together and attaching the sleeves. And then after all of this was done, I could then make the frill which goes around the neckline um, by cutting strips of cotton and then folding them over and gathering them together to create sort of a, th a 3D frill. After all this was done, I then overlocked around all of the edges and top stitched the frill down so that it wouldn't flop when I was wearing it. And this is all of the base bars finished, so next is the embroidery. So for the embroidery, I actually got really lucky because I had a tube that was kind of the width of my wrist. So I ended up putting the sleeve onto that so that it stretched out the elastic. And then with a heat erasable pen, I marked, I think it was half an inch between each dot. So that I had something to work with for the diagonals on the, each diamond. And after each row was marked on, I then started embroidering each original 
row for the diamonds. So I think there was three rows per colour and I just went through and backstitched between each ripple in the elastic to create the shape that is seen on the screen version. I tried to pick embroidery threads that blended well together so that it kind of looked as one piece as it went up, as well as being screen accurate to the images that I had on for reference. As the embroidery started to travel up the sleeve, the last three rows were slightly different to the rest. So on the reference images, it shows that it kind of misses out a diamond and then it travels up three by itself in a row, but you'll be able to see that in the images. Um, so that's what I tried to do with this and actually I think it worked pretty well in the end. I got lucky because I didn't count how many rows there were, so I didn't know whether it would be uneven, but I think it actually turned out okay in the end. <laughs> And that's it for the blouse, it's now completely done. So all the embroidery on both sleeves and the whole blouse base is done I think pretty well in terms of how it matches the film version. Um, and then obviously I'll try it on later with the bodice and the skirt. But come back for part three to see how I made the skirt.